previously on Well I Never. Hello, my name is Glenn and I'm visually impaired. I struggle to see things at a distance like signs and details on objects, you know, they have to be close up to me and that's caused by a condition called nystagmus which makes my eyes shake and wobble about all the time. I also have a condition called aniridia which means I'm more sensitive to bright sunlight and glare and find it harder to adjust in the dark because I don't have an iris in my eye. It hasn't stopped me socialising, hasn't stopped me getting out and about. I've done so much since moving to the city. I didn't think I'd do this much. It's been so worth putting in the effort in to do these things. The Nice Dagmus Network invited me to give my first ever public speech about my disability. That was a massive achievement for me. I've also met James Buller from the Anaridia Network. I want to keep meeting new people and trying new things. I'm taking on the biggest challenge I've ever faced and I need your help to get me through it. I'll be abseiling down the ArcelorMittal Orbit Tower in London's Olympic Park in aid of Moorfield's eye charity to raise money for research into the eye condition nystagmus. I have never abseiled before, so it's a big leap for a beginner like me, dropping 80 metres down the UK's tallest sculpture. So your money will help to fund pioneering research into the condition at Moorfield's Eye Hospital and University College London. Thank you to Claire, Manka, my family of course, Emma, Katie and Amelia, Nick and Fiona, Raffi Cecilia, Jessica Beale, Veronica Van Heiningen, Emily Davison, Joyce Brennan, Fern Lullum, Terry and Marion, James Buller, Lynn Buller, Sarah, my best mate Simon, Emma James, Irene, Dave and Marie, Sam, Emma, John and Zoe, Sarah Bell, Holly, Ian, Terry, Stephen Reed, Wendy and Pauline, Paul, Vasilou, Dean and Rona Dunbar. Okay, I'm absolutely stunned right now. Richard Osman from Pointless, he has donated 250 quid. Thank you to everybody who's donated so far, it's really very much appreciated. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. As you can see from my t-shirt, we did it. We finally completed the ab sale. It was delayed by a month because of the weather, but it finally went ahead on Sunday the 21st of October. And it was like it was meant to be. It was a perfect day weather-wise, you know, clear blue skies and sunshine. There was no mist about, there was no wind, and the temperature was lovely. So yeah, it was just absolutely perfect. And it was an amazing experience, which I hope you're gonna get a sense of when you see the footage in a moment. As you'll have seen from the recap just then, I was doing it in aid of nystagmus research, as were nine other people. And my friend James from the Anderidia Network was also involved. I think there were a few other people raising money for more fields too, but we didn't get to meet them or have contact with them, but congratulations to them as well. But yeah, in terms of Team Nystagmus, there were 10 of us. And between us, we've raised over £7,500 for nystagmus research, which is absolutely fantastic. I myself, at the time of filming this, have raised over £900, which is amazing. So thank you very, very much to everybody who donated towards that. You're all going to get a shout out at the end of this video in the credits, and you're also mentioned in the blog post as well. And anybody who donates after this will also get shout outs in later favourites videos and things. But if you donated before this video went live, you are in the credits. Unless you were anonymous, of course, but you know I know who a few of you are as well, and even those I don't, it doesn't matter. You're all amazing, whoever you were, you're all amazing. So thank you very, very much. It really will make a huge difference to many thousands of people's lives, you know, because this research is really fundamental and pioneering. So yeah, it was a really amazing day. I was there with my friend James, who, as I said, was doing it for the Anaridia Network, and then Claire and Matt, who are doing it like me for the Nystagmus Network. There are other people there earlier in the day who we didn't get to meet. So I got there, I was able to watch James do his ab sale first, which was kind of nice because it made it feel a bit more reassuring that it was going to be all right. You know, talking to him afterwards, he was perfectly happy with how it went. And then Claire, Matt and I all went up together because we'd all booked into the same slot. So we were all able to go up and support each other, which was nice, as well as having James and other friends on the ground watching us too. And there were also a couple of ladies there from Moorfield's Eye Charity as well, which was nice. And then yeah, we went through and signed the obligatory health and safety form, as you do in a situation like this, and we got all kitted up and everything. Matt got changed into his Tigger outfit <laughs> before he did his. He looked very adorable. The abseil is run by Wire and Sky, who have done abseils off the orbit for a long, long time now. And they also do the climb up the O2, where you can climb onto the roof of that arena. And they do other bits and pieces as well. They're a very well-known, well-respected company in that kind of area. So there was never any question about there being any problems with it. And the staff there were just absolutely amazing. So friendly, so patient, so helpful. You know, they had no problems with the fact that I was visually impaired. We were allowed to wear our dark sunglasses because we were quite sensitive to the sunlight and they were just really helpful really good at showing us what we needed to do the abseil is really easy once you're in the air it's the first bit getting off the edge as you would expect that's the hardest bit not so much the height i wasn't so bothered about the height as such i think what i found quite weird was the whole leaning back into nothing because you lean back over the edge 
and then you kind of step off from there. And that was kind of going against every instinct in my body, kind of leaning back into nothingness. So it was kind of fighting that natural instinct, that urge to kind of stand up and not overbalance. You feel like you're going to fall off, don't you? Yeah, it's a bit unnatural thing to do. It is very, okay. very weird And then right what now. are you going to do now? Are you going to start leaning back, okay? Start leaning back? Just keep leaning back? Just relax, keep leaning back? Just keep it back, just relax, relax. You can go anywhere, okay? Yeah, I know, I'm just, <laughs> I've not done this before, so. I know, just take your time, okay? So it did take me a couple of minutes or so to get back far enough. Once I started doing it and I got used to kind of feeding the rope through, which is all you have to do, then it was fine. And the lady there, I don't know her name, bless her, but she was incredible. She was just so patient with me and so helpful and just easing me back over. You know, she made it seem really easy. So thank you very much to her for that. Once I'd leant back far enough, then I had to step down onto like a metal ledge underneath the platform. And then you just basically step off that and then you're dangling in midair, basically. And from that point, it's very, very comfortable. You just feel like you're sitting down in this harness. It's really quite comfortable and relaxing, to be honest. And yes, it is a free fall abseil. You're not walking down the building or anything. You are literally coming out diagonally from the tower in midair. It's great. I know it may sound daunting to some, but honestly, it's so, so comfortable. We just took our time going down. It took us about a quarter of an hour, I think, to do the descent. Some people do it much quicker than that. It just depends on your nerves, on your mood. We really wanted to savour it, which we did. I was able to hire a GoPro to wear on my helmet. You hire it from reception for 15 quid, you pay by card there, and then once you've finished, you hand the GoPro into the shop, they plug it into the computer to get the footage off it, you put your email address in, and then they send you a link to download it within 24 hours. You can't take your own GoPro in, and you certainly can't take a mobile phone or something up there with you. If you want footage of you doing it, then you have to hire their GoPro, which is fair enough. It means they can ensure it's secure and everything. But it's well worth it. I mean, £15, I think, for that sort of souvenir. I think that's really, really good. So I'm really happy with how that's come out. It's a lovely memento of the day. And because my sight isn't perfect as well, it means I can kind of have another look and see things that perhaps I missed on the day. You know, I could see fairly well, thankfully. You know, I can see what the buildings were, you know, how tall some buildings were relative to others. And I could see the aquatic centre on the left-hand side from me and the stadium on the right-hand side and the big patch of grass beneath us where everybody was, like, cheering us on who had come to support us. So I had no problems kind of looking at the view. So that's what you're going to see now. I've given you some edited highlights of this. Um, I hope it gives you a good sense of what it was like. Obviously, you have to be there to really experience it. But I hope it gives you a good flavour, a good sense of what it was like for us going down. It was incredible. I do encourage you to do it if you can. So just some very quick thank yous before you see the footage. Thank you to Wire and Sky for the footage, first of all, and for making sure we were safe and making it such a wonderful experience. It was absolutely first class. It was amazing. Thank you so, so much. Thank you to Moorfield's Eye Charity for organising the event and for supporting us on the day and for all the work you do in general. Likewise, thank you to the Nice Agmus Network as well for their support and for putting Team Nice Agmus together and for promoting us and everything. Thank you to everyone at the ArcelorMittal Orbit for being so nice to us as well and allowing us to abseil off their tower. Thank you, of course, to everyone who came out and supported us. That really, really helped. It was great to have people cheering us on from the ground. And, of course, a huge thank you to everyone who sponsored me. Like I say, we raised over £7,500 between us. It's going to make a huge difference to Nice Agmus research. And if you can donate any more now, please do. My page is open until the 23rd of March 2019 at justgiving.com forward slash well I never. And there is also a text donation option as well, which is detailed on that page. So yeah, that's enough of my rambling. Let's get to the good stuff. Thank you very, very much again for your support. And here is the footage. Enjoy. Okay, Glenn, if you look down there, can you see the big, great ledge on the yeah. there, You're yeah. going to step on it with one foot at a time, okay? Bit, no. You can bend your knee slightly, you can lower yourself as well, okay, if you'd like. No, just step onto that one. Yes. Foot. How far away is it? I can't sort of judge it's this. It's like uh, a meter, maybe a bit less than that. Yeah. It's just like stepping on a big step. That's it, well done. Great job. And what we're gonna do now, so it's gonna be easier for you. Yeah. If you let go of the rope, pop your hands up here. Alright. And then just drop your legs completely, okay? Drop pop your knees, yeah, pop your knees against the wall. Oh, it's all from easy now. Yes. There. So drop your legs completely. Just let go completely. Yes. You can unhook your legs now. That's just let go completely. Yeah, from that's here. it, yeah. There you go. Nice one. Well done. <gasps> you okay? Yeah. Okay, that you're was gonna a hard pop bit. your hands back on the rope. 
Do you want to underneath? White one, yeah. That's it. And now keep rolling yourself. That's it. And you fully suspend it. There you go. Well done, Glenn. Yeah. You're done with the hardest wave, okay? Thank you. Now just take a deep breath, relax, okay? Yeah. Have a little crown and enjoy it, okay? Yeah. Enjoy the wee. Thank you very much. That's it. Well done, Glenn. That's an amazing view, though. I'm getting angles. Just feed the boat through. That's an amazing view. It's cool, isn't it? It's beautiful. There you go. Hiya. 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 <laughs> There's the stadium. I thought we spinning around now. <laughs> I'm getting used to feeding it through as well now, I think I've got the end. You get so distracted by what you're looking at. Hello! 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 <laughs> Alright! Such a good day for this weather wise. It's, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. River down there. It's quite relaxing. <laughs> Couldn't have asked for a better way. There's no no strong winds or anything, and the temperature's nice. Lovely. Clear skies, clear view. There's no mist or anything. Now I know what it's like, I would totally do it again, yeah.
Bye bye to you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Go on, Dad. Go on, Claire. Good to the job. Try my stone, girl. <laughs>